Okay, welcome to our Team Southern Strong call for it's November 22nd. And if you are on, if you don't mind muting yourself, click in the um, little uh, microphone at the bottom. So just I'm hearing a little bit of feedback. But I appreciate all of you for hopping on live, especially the week of Thanksgiving. I know that things are absolutely crazy, but as you know, as Beachbody coaches, we work 365 days a year. So even with holidays, we just keep moving forward with our business. And um, I haven't gotten to listen to the call recording from Melanie Mitro's call last night, but Lauren Baker posted um, some of her takeaways last night. And even though I wasn't on the call, a lot of them really struck a chord with me. And I don't know if y'all saw them yet in the page or not, but she said, you know, one thing that she said is what we are doing right now in our business, we are either hurting our business or we are helping our business. Everything that we are doing at this time of year is making a difference of how our business is going to go in January. And that's because we're building trust. People are watching us to see, you know, is she eating that whole half of pecan pie that she really wants to <laughs> at the Thanksgiving table? Is she letting the holiday stress get to her and letting her workouts go to the end of her to-do list or to the end of her priorities? Is she still showing up every day for her challenge group, for her challengers? They are watching us, and this is when – we're gonna we're we're laying the groundwork and cleaning those seeds for January because guys, I promise you, all this stress and all of this like feeling like there is absolutely nobody out there right now is gonna completely change in January. I remember last year it was like I don't even I, I remember talking to Jen and me like I don't even know if I'm gonna make it through November and December. This is the holidays are crazy. People are not thinking about fitness. But as soon as Christmas is over, people are going to be coming, I promise you. So it's important that we are using our Facebook right now to show that our business is open. Remember that is our storefront, that they know that we're there for them, that we're there to help for them, help them, and that we are ready for them and we are on board with them when they are ready for us in January. That being said, we still have December to get through, so hopefully you're laying the groundwork for December. Um, Y'all are killing it. I have to say that I'm so proud of everyone on this team. Have a few shout outs. I want to shout out Isla and Brittany because they are in our Court of Floors Challenge Group and the Healthy Holidays Challenge Group that we have going this month. And they, every single day they show up, they post their workouts, they're adding value, they're commenting on the challenge, uh, other challengers in there, and they're just doing an incredible job. I'm, I'm very lucky to be doing those challenge groups with you. I want to shout out Nikki for being, she's starting to be a product of the product on her page. When she came to me about coaching, one thing she said is I'm very nervous about sharing all of this on social media. And Nikki, I just can't tell you how proud of I how proud of you I am for stepping out of your comfort zone and doing that. You're you're doing a great job. You're having an excellent start to your business, and I'm very excited to have you on our team. And then um, also want to shout out Alex for her consistency. She shows up every single day. Her posts add value. They inspire, and they're just absolutely incredible. So everyone else, I'm proud of you as well. You're doing a great job, and I think you know we're rocking and rolling with November. We still have a full week really plan out be thoughtful about your posts over the next few days because people are going to be thinking about oh okay I did eat that whole half of pecan pie I need to do something because I have a holiday party coming up make sure that they know that you are there and you're ready to help them so be thoughtful about your posts the next few days and definitely um I posted on our page um I guess it was yesterday or the day before about really digging deep with your your um, vital, four vital behaviors because you are making a difference every single time you do that. So those are my announcements for tonight. I want to introduce you to our wonderful, amazing guest speaker, Jennifer Thomas. I had the pleasure of getting to ride with her to when we went on our leadership retreat in Destin in September. She has a heart of gold, and she truly cares about her challengers and lit provide so much value to everyone who follows her on her Facebook page. And when I was trying to decide what I wanted us to do that for our topic this week, that just seemed like a really good thing. With the holidays coming up, we want to add that value to, um, and to everyone that 
clicks on our page that sees our post. We want to add that value to know that we um, we care about people, even if we they don't end up buying a challenge group. We want to help them live happier and healthier and more fulfilling lives. So Jennifer, thank you so much for hopping on with us tonight. I'm going to pass it over to you. Thanks, Alden. I'm pretty excited about this call. Um, I even made slides, so that's pretty impressive on my half because <laughs> I hardly ever make slides. Um, so, yeah, basically, as Alden was saying, um, one thing that I heard early on in coaching is um, you need to look at your posts and you need to see if you're adding value. You're not just posting, you know, about your sweaty, your, your sweaty selfie or your, your workout or your shake all, you know, shakeology or anything like that. Like, what are you bringing to your audience? How are you adding value? And so I have a few slides. Let me see if I can screen share. Oh, shoot. No, I'm messing up. Hold on one second. Sorry, you guys. See, I never add slides, and now I'm, like, messing it all up. Okay, now I lost it. Okay, let me see. Okay, how do I screen share here? Oh, there I go. Did you find it? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Okay, awesome. Sorry, you guys. I'm totally a slacker with all this. Okay, so... Who is your market? That's basically what you want to start off with. Um, you know, those who have similar interests, those who have similar struggles or similar family dynamics, that's my market. So basically, you know, I'm a mom. I have kids. I have kids like all ages. I have one that's a senior that's we're working on getting him into college. I have a teenage daughter who that's a, that's a definite struggle. Um, and then my seven year old. Um, and so for me, cooking healthy meals for my family, that's definitely something that is high on my priority. So I post a lot about um, my recipes and, and here's one that I posted um, about my son getting in there and helping me cook. Um, and then I just added a quick little tip that I've heard so many different times is, you know, if you're having a hard time getting your kids to eat healthy, have them help you cook and they'll be excited to try the new healthy foods that they cook themselves. And they feel really proud of themselves when they do this too. So I just kind of wanted to throw that out there um, to my audience. And then also like that kind of goes along with like talking to your market, like Think about what you want to see, what you want to see on social media, um, and then what kind of advice that you want to receive. Um, you know, think about what is funny to you or what your market can relate to. So this was kind of a little funny thing, like um, my snack tip Wednesday: margarita glasses are great for yoga per phase. You know, I just kind of made it funny, and then I also did a real tip like um, that I, I never used before, uh, before Beachbody was, you know, Greek yogurt, adding a little bit of honey and, and fruit. Um, this is something that I would have wanted to see prior to Beachbody. And that's another thing you can think about too, is who you were before Beachbody. And you kind of talk to that person when you're, when you're doing, when you're talking to your market and all of that. And then also, um, your posts. So when you are making these posts, you obviously are posting three to five times a day. So one of those posts, you should probably be, be aiming for one of those posts to be adding value. Um, a way to make or to add value is you can post about recipes, um, tips, informational type thing. And then here's another one that I posted also um, just talking about like getting my kids to eat healthy snacks. And one thing that I find actually works in my house is that I, I put all the fruit in a bowl on the counter. And so when they go to grab for um, a snack, it's right there. And so I kind of wanted to share that with my audience. And um, I got a lot of uh, feedback with that post too. Um, just some ideas of, you know, helping other moms out. Um, and then also, and so when you're trying to figure out like your content, because I know for a lot of um, new coaches out there, like it can kind of be intimidating trying to figure out what you're going to post, uh, especially when you have like the three to five posts a day that you're going to be posting, like what the heck do you post about? 
Um, one really good thing that I've used before um, is the Beachbody blog. There are so many recipes on there that are great, and you can just copy and paste all of those, like all of my little cocktail recipes that I've been doing this week, because I'm actually, no, I don't drink every night, but I'm actually like making these cocktail recipes for my, um, my free group. So I'm kind of, they don't have pictures. So I've been actually making um, the drink and then taking a picture and then posting it on um, my free group. And I got all the recipes from the Beachbody blog. Um, they also have like some really amazing tips. So I'll, you know, grab a tip off of there. I also like Google things, you know, like um, things pop up. Like, I don't know why, but I get like um, emails from like um, Medscape or, or like, you know, those healthy um, websites or medical websites. Anyways, they come up with some pretty cool things. So I, I can, you know, I take from those. Um, I also like, you know, take from Pinterest. And actually, this is, I think this post here, I took from Pinterest. And I actually posted this um, on election night, because I knew like a lot of people were going to be like, all crazy and all that kind of stuff. So I was like, hey, you know, there's probably going to be a lot of emotional eating going on tonight. So here's some tips. So I just threw that out there. And that actually got a lot of um, talk and traffic into that little post there. Um, another thing that you can do is follow top coaches. Um, Melanie Mitchell, she's, she does amazing on her, um, her uh, like page. I think it's commit to be fit. And I've actually used a lot of her stuff and kind of just moved it around and made it my own. Um, also, there's uh, Katie Ursta. She does great. Like, her like page is awesome. And then Allie. Allie does great, too. I really relate to her. So those are the top coaches that I follow. Um, and then my last suggestion on how to add value and make sure that you are adding value is do a page check every so often. Go to your own page and scroll through it. See what your page looks like. See, you know, kind of judge it and, and think about, you know, what are other people seeing? And then if you have to have um, somebody else, like have your significant spouse or significant other, sorry, and look at your page and see you know, give you some like really good feedback or even if it, if not your spouse, but somebody else, just have them look at your page and, and think, like give you some good feedback about what your page says. Like, I mean, do they know that you're a coach? Do they, you know, do they know that you have a challenge group? Do they know, like, can they trust you? So when it all comes down to it, you need to add value so that people can trust you to follow you. And so and those are just like some good tips that I have used. I'm going to see if I can get out of here again to see if you guys have any questions. Shoot. Where am I? Where's my thing? I'm sorry, you guys. I'm so horrible about this. Okay. So. Okay. Awesome. All right. Do you guys have any questions about like adding value at all or, or you know, any things where you get stuck? with adding value or posting or anything like that? I have a question because this is something that I sometimes struggle with. I know that I have nights that I will sit down and I'll be like, oh my gosh, Michael, I need another post. And where we, there's nothing like when you, and it's just, I mean, when you lead a boring life like I do, it's hard sometimes. And, but do you, when you do that, or when you have nights like that, or you may not have nights like that, do you just get on and like look through the Beachbody blog or look through Pinterest till you find something that sounds interesting? Or how far in advance do you plan out your posts? My, okay, I know this is really bad, but I know everybody says like, take your week and plan your posts. I don't do that. Like, it literally like comes to me like, and I'm just like, Oh my gosh, my snack is amazing. I have to share it, you know, or something like crazy happened in my house. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I need to like, like, I don't know. I have like this funny, like post I need to post about, you know, I, I guess like maybe, um, I'm kind of lucky in that way that like things just come and sometimes I'm holding myself back. Like, okay, I've already had like five posts that day, or I've already had like three posts. I need to hold off and do that one tomorrow. Um, 
But I think I kind of just, what I do, I kind of just look around and even the mundane, like stupid things, you know, like I just kind of wrap that up into a post. Um, like tonight, I think today was like a day where I didn't have a whole lot going on, like a whole lot of posting ideas. And so like, <laughs> like I just posted tonight about like my daughter, <laughs> like freaking out, you know, <laughs> and, um, and how I didn't break out with her, you know, so I was like, hey, mom, win. <laughs> so, I mean, that wasn't like necessarily like beach body related, but it's something that like hopefully my audience relates to me and, and, you know, maybe they have a teenage daughter that like breaks out on them too, you know, I don't know. So, um, I would, you know, I just like, I, I love to follow like Melanie Mitro because I think she has some really, really good stuff. And then, and then Pinterest, you know, um, for my like page, I really try to like put something out there like nutritional or fitness or something like that. And I get a lot of those from, um, from Pinterest, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. I kind of, kind of just like they pop into my head and I have to get it out there. So Does anybody else on here have some tips or anything for adding value that you found helpful? Is this something that you feel like you do you do regularly? I know it's something I kind of forget about. I have to remind myself, like, oh, I need to be adding value. I need to be – because one thing that I, I heard when I, you know, I, I don't know when I, I – you know, when you pick things up along the way, but they said that everybody wants something for free. And when you're giving value on your page, they're going to want to come back. Like when we, um, I'll, we always talk about, you know, sharing your recipes and saying like, if you want this recipe, give me 25 likes or 30 likes. That's because what the purpose of that is because you want them to come back to your page. They're going to like, you know, oh, there's that clean macaroni and cheese recipe. I'm, I'm going to like it. And then I'm going to remember to go back to Nikki's page and see. So um, that means that I'm going to go back and then I'm going to see her more recent posts. So I'm going to see that she um, posted about Shakeology today. That's just, you know, a tip and it gives you that many people to have conversations with as well. So that, that is so true, Alden. Like, I, I love that you said that. Um, I mean, yeah, everybody does want something for free, you know? And I think um, what I do too is I kind of think about like um, – you know, my challengers or potential challengers who kind of give me these, um, like, oh, I can't, I can't get my family to eat, you know, certain things like they hate vegetables or whatever. So I think, okay, well, how can you hide vegetables in your, your, you know, your dinner, you know, like, what can you do? And that's, that's another thing you guys can totally still is too, is like cut up the vegetables, like really, really, really small. And they won't even know they're in there. You know, I don't know. So there's a good, there's a good post if you guys want to steal that one. <laughs> I swear, like, things just, like, they come out and, um, I don't know, I got a post about it, so. No, I think that's a good idea. Any other questions? Um, mine's not a question, but someone um, had asked me, I was talking to a friend of mine on the phone today, and she asked me what I was going to make for dinner, and I am making um, Philly stuffed bell peppers um and she asked me if that's something that is cheap or inexpensive and i told her no so she kind of like gave me the idea of like maybe like whenever you make posts about dinner or something letting people know like what the average price would be for that meal because a lot of times people um you know they say that healthy food is much more expensive than going to the store and buying um you know something frozen or in the can or you know prepackaged meals when in reality it actually is cheaper it's just um you know making sure that you have it planned and that you're using everything when you buy it so that was just something that I thought was pretty cool that might add a little bit of value and show people that they actually can buy healthier options. Um, they're actually saying it on the post. I absolutely love that idea. That is something that I don't do a very good job about because 
I know that when I first started, and y'all probably felt this way too, it was expensive because you were you were replacing your ingredients. And now we go to the grocery store and spend like half of what we were spending before. So I think that is a great, great idea, Nikki. I'm definitely going to start doing that. Thank you. Another thing, sorry, I keep talking over here. No, it's perfect. Uh, That's why you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, like, um, you know, kind of things that we, we, our tips that we give to our challengers in the challenge groups, like um, set out your workout clothes at night, you know, or even sleep in your workout clothes, you know, throw that out there, like on your page, like, hey, guess what I'm doing? Like, and take a picture of it, be like, look, there's my workout clothes. I'm ready for my workout in the morning, you know? Um, like just show what you do on how you get through your day or how you get motivated to work out or how you just, you know, get up and do it, you know? Mm -hmm. So just people want to see, they want to see, I mean, they see that you're looking amazing and everything like that. And they're like, hold on. Okay. What is she eating for breakfast? I mean, cause I know I did that like before I would like stop people and I'd be like, wait, wait, what are you eating? Like, and what workout are you doing? And you know, that kind of thing. Um, and this was all before Beachbody. So like kind of give people a little bit of that. And then finally they're going to be like, I have to get on board. Like this does not look that hard, you know? So like give them snippet or snippets of your life. I think that's perfect. Well, Jennifer, thank you so much for hopping on with us, for joining Team Southern Strong for the night. I appreciate all of you. I want to tell you how thankful I am for every single one of you. This Thanksgiving, I'll be saying a special prayer of thanks for every single person on our team. I'm so blessed that Beachbody has brought us together and that we are able to take this journey together, this exciting journey. And, um, you know, I just, I love you all so very much. I'm so very thankful for you. Have a wonderful day with your family. Enjoy that half of pecan pie that we're all going to eat. <laughs> just kidding. I'll just have a fourth, but <laughs> enjoy the time with your family. I love you all and have a wonderful night.